G'day guys, welcome to Rumba's Fish Room. So, today we're doing something a little bit exciting. Nothing too crazy. We're going to divide the ray pond. Uh, so, I've managed to patch the leak. It's not leaking at the moment. I, I am still going to fiberglass it, but I'm going to not, I'm not fiberglassing it until around December. Reason being, if I set up a pond in the shed, I want to be able to set it up without putting heaters in it. Um, so in the meantime, I'm going to try and get some pregnant rays. Um, how I'm going to do that is, there's three males in there. I'm going to divide the pond into three. I'm going to put a male in each one, and I'm going to put a girl with each male. And we'll give that a go, see how it works out. All right, so the dividers are getting cable tied to these two braces that are in the pond. So I need to um, cut a little groove in it for the light because the, the divider actually comes to the top of this piece of metal here. So that's like 270 to the light. So I got some 10 mil acrylic through work that's like an old job that was getting thrown in the bin. So it's got these holes drilled in it. Um, I think it was like a privacy screen in like a, a storefront where like so the person couldn't hit the the cashier or whatever but it's it'll work perfectly in the pond because the the water can flow through all the holes i'm spewing that hole that's already there doesn't quite line up with where we need it to be So we're going to start again, we're going to do another hole. Alright, so that hole saw is extremely blunt. But it's done what we needed it to. Alright, so now we're going to try move the 600 baskets in the way. Um, I haven't really figured it out how I'm going to get the rays in each one. So, this is working, just hustling the ray down. So I've separated one male there. Whoa. That's perfect guys. It actually it wedged up tight on that light, so that's tight in there, which is kind of holding it in place. Alright, so divider number two, I've already marked it. I've got my nice stable table. Alright, so I'm in the market for a new hole saw set. <laughs> As you can see, that was more melting rather than cutting. Alright, so divider number two is going to be much harder to get in. And yeah, that's it. No and. Alright guys, so now I'm just gonna drill some holes to uh, cable tie it up. So cable tie them up. Um, you guys can go swimming for this one. about the best I can do. Um, there we go. So I've got some bad news guys. It looks like the Sudi Grunter has killed my snook. Um, I don't take this lightly. 
I think I'm either going to have to give the suit away or cull it because it's, it's an absolute psycho. So I'll show you in a sec guys, but the snook is still alive. There's the slightest chance that just by coincidence, um, I've divided them today. Now, he doesn't at all means look well, but he might be alright. I just saw him swimming straight. But, yeah, we'll see. I, don't, I really don't want to lose him, he's a cool fish. People who see him just can't believe how big he is for a snook. He looks like a small peacock bass, that's how big he is. Alright, um, so I thought I might need a fixing at the bottom, but that's so stiff. Perfect. So now to move the race, can you guys actually tell how big this girl is? What about this one? So this one's a bit smaller. I'm going to put her with my 65% boy because he's the smallest boy. Alright, so this is the suit. Here's a round ball. Oh, I put the suit with the giant karami because I know if the giant karami gets attacked, he will kill. That's the way the giant karami works. If the fish leave the giant karami alone, giant karami is friend. If the fish attacks the giant karami, he kills them. That's how he works, that's how he's always worked, and I've seen him kill um, a 55 centimetre dovey because the dovey actually was attacking him till he reached breaking point and then he just clicked and killed him. So I'm pretty confident that the Sudi can live with the uh, Garami without too much hassle. I've got him in Fish Repair Town, which is in front of that jet there. I have saved many a fish by putting them in baskets in front of this jet. If you actually look, this girl here, she's, she's healing up. Uh, that was also the Sudi. The Sudi Grunter attacked her and smashed her. So, um, I think it might be a goner, but... It is what it is. He was never a pet fish. He was just like a pond filler. Um, I don't even think I paid for him. Someone gave it to me, but still sad times. Um, as long as our red devil's all right, because we need him for our fish walk. Um, so we've got, in a, can't see in there. We've got a three-way and my 65%, which I think is also a three-way. Um, in there and then we've got a pair in here which is she's the three they're both just three ways um that's the boy that i thought was pure matoro but clearly isn't after the babies we got and then um they're all just these three are unknown hybrids so that ray's not mine that ray's not mine that ray is mine. So <clears throat> basically, if I if and if these two girls breed with that one, um, it'll be a split on the pops. But we'll see what happens. Um, also, this way, good thing is I can localize feeding. Um, like that's how I lost. That's how my 65% girl died. It was just because there's so many rays in one big. Um, trough and um, she didn't get food she literally starved which is sad news 
Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about the Sudi. If anybody wants it and has a tank to put it in, but it is a one fish fish. We'll see if it lives with the Garami. If it lives with the Garami, I'll keep it. The other thing with it is the Sudi smashes the food, so the um, the rays tend to miss out a little bit sometimes with the Sudi. I to wrap today's video up there, guys. Um, Sorry about the snook, I hope that didn't upset you guys as viewers, but it is what it is, part of fish keeping. It's not like it's a young fish. I got it at like 30, 35, 40 centimeters. I mean, it's no, sorry. I got it at like 30 centimeters and it's now 35 to 40 centimeters. It's a big fish, it's an old fish. Um, there's a lump on the bottom of it, maybe some sort of tumor or something, so. I don't know if it's like a tumour or whether it's just a catalyst from the Sudi attacking it. Um, one problem with that pond is how it runs under the seven foot. Um, when fish are fighting, it's really hard to see it sometimes. But it was never meant to have fish in it. It was meant to just be the giant garami and the rays. But we can't sell the red devil, obviously. That's the favourite fish in there. Um, so, oh, just quickly guys, the Africans are going. Can you see them there? Um, they're sold in the next couple of days, which means um, CO2 and aqua soil um, and discus, but I don't know how much plants yet. I, I might... I might not even go aqua soil to be honest, I might just go a pH neutral gravel. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.